help you? No. Uh, you can have to. You can record from over there. Excuse me. You can record from over there. It's private property. The school board? Yeah. Well, I know that I seen you on your radio saying I'm out with the subject, so obviously something was conveyed. Off. Here. Oh, okay. Camera, and you are filming. No, the court order is the courtroom. It's a California thing. I, I know this. Okay. It's the courtroom and the room right before it. So the courthouse. What you're doing, but yes. you know, unfortunately, we're not going to leave until they're okay with us leaving. So we're going to be okay. here. So like, okay. The, I'm not touching you. I'm not going to lay I'm hands not, on you or drag you out of here. You understand? I'm what This is a familiar story, yet it remains infuriating. The right to film in public is once again under threat. In today's video, we will witness a tense confrontation between a freelance journalist and the police as they try to force him out of a public area they mistakenly consider private. This is not just a mere dispute. It is a battle between citizen rights and oppression. Will knowledge of the law and freedom prevail, or will pressure from those who abuse their power distort justice? The answer will gradually unfold in the upcoming moments of this video. Stay tuned tuned until the end to gain a deeper understanding of the importance of protecting our rights. In the first scenario, we will witness the arrogance and abuse of power by the police as they continuously threaten the videographer to leave the area. Private property, this is their property right here. Pass this fence is their property. All right, we're, we're not debating this. You can record I'm you not want debating. over there. Okay. How would you feel if on a beautiful day, while comfortably filming in public, you were suddenly approached and stopped by the police? This story is not just a simple incident, it reflects a serious issue regarding citizens' freedom. Imagine someone merely filming on the sidewalk near a school being approached and threatened by the police to leave. This action not only prompts us to reflect on personal liberties, but also highlights the clear violation of the right to film in public, a right protected by the First Amendment. Then blue line flag, looks like an undercover. Uh, you can have this. You can record from over there. Excuse me. You can record from over there. It's private property. The school board. Yeah. Who owns it? The school board. Okay. So you want to record? You're all. You're welcome to do it across the street. Okay. No. You don't I'm have a telling you, you can go over there. You can record all you want right over there. Okay. Okay. Well, this is not a debate, sir. You can record all you want. I don't have a problem with you recording, but you got to do it over there. Okay. Transportation's personal property. Okay. That's fine. All right, so let's go across the street. I'm on the public oh, right away, buddy. No, this is past this fence is their property. All right, we're, we're not debating this. You can record. I'm you not want debating over there. Okay. This gentleman's trying to tell me that the public right away is private property. Well, you got your law degree from TV. Yeah, I'm allowed. Thank you, sir. So what's your business here? You're dismissed. Thank you. Hey, sir. Picture in B roll footage of the buses going in. Okay, that's like that bus is over by uh, tradition right now. Just try to stand back up. I, I do this all the time. 
not content with just asking the journalist to leave. The police go further by forcing him to provide identification for inspection. However, armed with confidence and a solid understanding of his rights, the journalist boldly refuses this request, asserting his rights protected by the Fourth Amendment. While the tension between the two sides has somewhat eased, the journalist remains steadfast in defending his legal rights and interests. All over the state, all over the country, actually. What's the purpose for it? I, I don't answer that questions. My radio. First guy, right? Yeah, this yeah. guy was very professional. You came up like a gangbuster trying to give me directives. Why? Because I have a job to do. Learn your and job. You have no business here. A journalist then always you have, has. Where's your credentials? Who issues those? Where's your credentials? Who? Who's issue? Where's your those? credentials? Tell me who issues them. Okay, them. I enforce the law because I have my credentials. Where's yours? The Burger Boys off in about five to ten minutes. They said. All right. Perfect, thank you. I'll give mine to you. You tell me, you said you're a journalist. Absolutely. Do you know the last time journalists were licensed was 1662 in England? Right, Education's I'm not, not your I'm strong not point. Yep. I'm not here for that. Well, look, we're not going to do insults. That's what okay. we're not going to do. All right. We're not doing that. Number one, this is, I understand this is a school stuff going on. Yeah. And we got students. A absolutely. So all I'm saying is school board's just, public. We, we just have to. That's not how I thought. I'm just, I wasn't questioning the scenario. That's I'm all trying all. to figure out And you've been why very professional. That's all we're doing. And you've been very professional. This guy over here is just kind of well, steamrolling me. You good with him? Just, I'm, hey, I'm, just for me, just for me, just stand with like five more feet back just so we don't off. have anybody. Through this incident, we learn a valuable lesson about the importance of standing firm against abuse of power. It serves as a reminder that we must always be confident and resolute when facing threats, no matter how tense the situation may become. We don't want you filming here. This is invalid. But you know what? This is a post office. I know some people, they get, they get weary when a camera's in their face and they're thinking... And I don't understand hey, why. <laughs> it's no different than a doorbell camera. Today I want to share a shocking incident that occurred at a United States Postal Service location in Crystal Lake, Illinois. In this tense situation, an auditor had an encounter with a postal employee. Unfortunately, this meeting quickly escalated when the employee made threats of violence. Stay tuned to see what happens next. Nearly missed me. She's definitely upset about something. Anyway, man, we're going to shoot our last shot right quick, man. Y'all make sure I'll stay tuned. Oh, what, on my shirt? Oh, no. Because that was a good football game last night. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the orders of Tigers, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, what's the um, uh, direct phone number to this location? The direct phone number? 815-459. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Last little walk around. Um, purchase us a stamp real quick. Good look out, man. I think it was too bad, man. So, man, I mean, he had a couple of little, uh, a couple of little directives, but not too bad. I, mean, I wish I could have caught it. I wish I could have caught that on camera. She tried to swing and hit me with the door, but. Now, TTA family, if I were a betting man, I could have sworn I was, Maybe I'm tripping, man. I'm just getting my last shots in the room right there. I look out the window, baby. Probably, oh. Nope. Seen exactly what. It, oh, wow. 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 <sighs> yeah. Well, what do you know? What will you know? Oh, okay, that one kept going. Oh, okay, maybe they just patrolling. Wait a minute. No, they're not just patrolling. It seems that the arrival of the police did little to ease the tension at the post office. When the auditor was questioned by the police, why are you filming at the main facility? What are you doing here? It was clear that the right to film in public under the First Amendment was being violated. Just say, right, you have the person on location. I do. Uh, you're looking at me, though. I am. <laughs> really? What's the problem? Yeah. Uh, whipping through here with the fire department? Is it a car crash near or something? Oh, are you recording? Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely. You know that you can. Same reason why you just cut your body camera on, right? <laughs> Same exact reason, off. What's your name and badge number, sir? Uh, my name is Jason. 
name is that's okay. Uh, you don't want to pronounce it. You don't uh, want to say it for me. It's okay. You, you know it's part all, of your you, you know it's part of your all. policy now. Come on, officer. Well, okay, so you don't have to identify. I'm not part of the Crystal Lake Park dis uh, the police department. Really? Yeah. Oh, here obviously well, so. I was it. coming into the uh, thing here and wanted to know uh, what you were doing. I oh, know, but what did they say? Manager, a couple of people that work here. So what did they say to you? I don't have, I haven't gone in there. Oh, okay, okay. The subject, so obviously something was conveyed. Oh, off. You are here. Oh, okay. You have a camera, and you are filming. And this shouldn't be a problem, right? I have, no, I have every right to ask you what you're doing. You, you got a right to ask, but I mean, you're different. <laughs> the way that you asked made it seem like I was doing something wrong. I wanted to know what you were doing, what your process was. Good, man. Like I said, I spoke to the I spoke to the manager guy here, you know, and he was saying something about uh, do it, but don't film people's addresses or something like that. I don't know. Well, you shouldn't have to be coming and going with mail that's private. And yeah, I, and I told him that, that if it's private, you definitely should take it off the counter. But, and he kind of agreed and started getting all the stuff together. I thought everything was good, but obviously not. <laughs> the police's absurd questions not only exposed their ignorance of citizen rights, but also highlighted the potential dangers when law enforcement does not fully grasp the importance of protecting personal freedoms. Clearly, the auditor in this situation was completely within the law, not only based on the First Amendment, but also according to Poster 7, which outlines citizens' rights to film in post offices. This document states that citizens have the right to film as long as they do not disclose other individuals' personal information, such as addresses on packages. Pretty as sure. if it was wrong. Well, it's a legitimate eh. question to ask. It could be a question, just because, just because the federal government, why the federal government maybe not like a, you know, there is such a know, thing as, Walmart parking lot. Sure. yeah, but not, with, not with the uh, camera. You gotta let me finish. <laughs> not with the camera, People, come on off. Uh, you gotta let me finish. Go ahead. <laughs> federal, sure. 10-6. Uh, they film how things are done for possible bombing. I mean, that's a reach. Oh, that's a reach, officer. That's a reach. reach. <laughs> instances where, like, you know, you, we've all seen movies. They scope out the building, let it know way yeah. in, way out, where people go. Yes. If we keep trying to use those excuses, 100%. our rights going to go right out the window. 100%. Man. Everyone that what we're doing is uh, constitutionally protected. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. How you doing, sir? Yes, sir, man. Good on you. Yeah. Good job, sir. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with, like I said. We have an issue. No, I'm trying to find out. Yeah, but that, it, it was, not, now everything's yeah. been good. It's all, yeah. but when it, like probably about a couple of moments. And they were going to a traffic accident. Oh, okay. So I was like, I didn't know. You know I'm getting ready to purchase a stamp from you and book on out. And I yeah. see that. Oh, went to that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. And then, there, so you, you are obviously familiar with your post. A lot of post offices, not exactly, but. I've seen a million. Oh, right, exactly. I've seen a million. And I know, like I said, I know people. I've seen Insta channel or whatever. And right. Like, Let's have a recording. That's fine. Like they could blur your face out. They could do whatever. You know, that's fine. You, right? right? Instead of overreaction. There you go. Have a conversation. There you Even go. If you don't like it. So, that's correct. Yeah. You handled it pretty well. And we know, know. We appreciate that. Uh, he's. He, I think. Yeah, yeah. We definitely appreciate his service. Yeah. Definitely for sure. Yeah. All right, sir. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate you guys. So you still don't want to identify, officer? Man, you still don't want to identify? You know it's okay. What's the star three, number? What, oh, at four least four seven three two. Okay. And that's here. Which I can't pronounce. Okay. You won't be able to pronounce it anyway. Okay. So, so you're not Crystal Lake Police Department. No. You're. That's weird that they would call. Oh my God! There ain't no telling. It. it is what it is, officer. Well, it all depends on. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I know that this was kind of considered part of the park district, though. That's the only. Oh, the street. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, so, okay. Well, yeah, I'll just. I just drove by and didn't stop. It'd be a dereliction of duty, huh? Okay, and that's I kind of a dereliction, but not. Uh, come on now. I <laughs> tell people it's all on film. It's all on there. You can see it. It's bright. It is what it is. All right, officer. Well, that's how I'm gonna probably purchase me a couple of stamps, man. Book on out and don't be alarmed. <laughs> no, no. Like I said, they just and I are having a conversation, and we're fine. All right. All right. Guys. All right. Appreciate it. All right. You have a good day. You too. Yeah, TTA family, but we're going to go over there and get our, our staff, man, and we're going to book on out. Yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned.
take and they deliver to the salon. Okay. Okay, it's fine. What we'll do is we'll take care of it. Oh, Jesus. She just walked away. Maybe this young lady. Huh? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I'm the talking about to get it. Yeah. Yeah, you want to talk to him, he'll let you know everything mm -hmm. with what's been going on today. Yeah, you want to talk to him. She'll feel a little bit more comfortable with uh, service and that's to We'll see. Can you can you guys go what's what's your guys what's his of uh, your manager name? What's his name again? Appreciate it. Patrick, yeah. It's just, it don't seem like the young lady is coming back to her post. Thought she was gonna go back and ask Mr. Patrick. You know, get educated. Okay, appreciate that. What we're trying to do. Henry County Sheriff is out there now. Well, we're gonna wait for Mr. Patrick though. See what's up, man. I'm sure. getting ready to sum up everything. I was trying to purchase a staff down there on the on the on the last register yes, there. Sir. Yes, yes. She's like, I don't want to be fine. I said, if you go back and talk to Mr. Patrick, he'll let you know everything. And yes. she never returned to her post. Oh, she's actually, she's asking a question back there because she, because maybe it was, but if you're looking for a stamp, yeah. I'll have her come up right now, okay? Okay, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So, uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> he let you know everything good? He did. Yeah, just one. Does it matter what time? No, it don't matter. Yeah. Right. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. You too. So from the top, TTA family, from the top. In conclusion, every citizen has the freedom to do so, and no one has the right to infringe upon those rights. That is why we need to proactively equip ourselves with basic legal knowledge. Understanding your rights will help you protect yourself in similar situations. Let's take a look at an incident that occurred in a courtroom and see how this citizen overcomes the threats from the police. What is your objective? What do you other than Nothing, just leave me alone. You're you have not no supposed to record in the court. No, yeah, in the court. This is the courthouse. This has nothing to do with the court. You may be considered in violation of court regulations if you film without permission in the courtroom. However, in this case, that is not an issue at all. This citizen is simply exercising his freedom under the First Amendment by filming in the hallway of a courthouse. Yet what is outrageous is that he is still approached by the police and asked to leave without justification. Yeah. You're not supposed to be recording in here. Uh, it's uh, only in the courtroom. Actual law decision, not supposed to be recording. What, what's the what's the Look law? It up on the website. What's the number? I'm telling you there is. I'm telling you there's you not. You can leave. Uh, this is a public place. You can leave if you're not going to obey the court rules. You I don't obey have to court obey court policy. Why? Because I don't work for the public like you. You're never going to they're, they're... <laughs> You can leave now. I'm not doing anything wrong, sir. So I'm not recording in the courtrooms or even close to the courtrooms. That's not illegal. 
You're not supposed to record it. What's the law? Hey, would rather it's not. Legal, it's the court rule. You That's actually... for you guys, not no, for me. It's, not for, it's me. for the people that work for the bond. Oh. That. That's a policy. Oh. Um, it's actually posted right Everyone understands that a courthouse is a public place owned by the government, but not every nook and cranny within the courthouse is open for filming or photography. However, in this case, the citizen is in the hallway exercising his right to film, which is completely legal. The law clearly allows citizens to film and access information in public spaces, including government facilities like courthouses, as long as their actions do not disrupt or obstruct court proceedings. I'm gonna talk to you. No, you can show me the sign. Okay, I'll show you the sign. But I don't have to go outside. As long as this is open, I don't have to go outside. There's no statute. Have to look up That's the code a policy point. right there. Look up the code, please. I would love to see a code that actually said no. So there's a law for the court. It's no, that that's only counts for the courtroom. 166 in the penal I've code. been through this. It only counts for the courtroom and... It's absolutely illegal in a public place. No, it's not. Because I don't have marijuana are, on me. It's not illegal to smell like marijuana at all. Okay. Once you go outside, I'm going to talk. No. Because I want to know what it is you're trying to attempt to do. I'm just working on a story and... Take photos and... You can't in the courtroom can, or right before the courtroom. There's no statute there for a reason, okay. sir. Do you didn't tell me. Right yeah, that's nice. You could go look out there. You can come back in. No, you can. I don't care if you follow me, but you better not violate my rights. Actually, right now you're violating the court order. No, the court order is the courtroom. It's a California thing. I, I know this. Okay. It's a public place. I have every right to re uh, report for the press here. What are you reporting? You're just in a hallway with a deputy. Follow me around pretty well. No, you're just being sarcastic right now. I want to show you the, the statue, but you're being difficult. You want me to go outside. Right back in. That's nice. I could stay in too, and I don't have to go outside. Okay. I mean, if you find the statue, I'd love to see it. Find it then. You come with I would, so I can I would love here. for you to go outside and find the statue. Then just leave me alone. You're you have not no... supposed to record in the court. No, yeah, in the court. This is the courthouse room. What's your point? You're in a courthouse. There There's companies. a statute for that. Yeah. Let's go find it. You have I, to see it. You're not going to believe me. I don't believe you. Okay, still then how could you Why would it be out there and not right there? Your... Okay, well, I'll look out on the way out, but it's not posted. Clear as day. You can come back in. It is a public. You're absolutely right. It is a public place. Do you want? Uh, but you public want... place. If I can see it, no, then I can record it. As I'm long as I'm not. You. No, thank you. This gentleman is recording in the courthouse. I'm not recording in the courtroom. What's the statute on that? Look, there's no there's no number for a reason on there. Statute. That's just the policy. I don't I don't have to abide by policies. I have to abide by laws for the people that work here, not for me. Why are you recording? Because I have every right to. I'm working on a story. I'm freedom of press. Private stuff. People should put it away because it's not my job to. I just want a statue. If you give me an actual statue. Three oh what? You're absolutely right. You have every right to be in here and record. But you cannot record. Anything my eyes Let's see. Are you, are you done in there? Like there's got to be a statute for a law that I, I have you. to abide by. I absolutely hear you. And I'm purposely not going into these... Raising awareness of citizen rights under the First Amendment is essential to protect these rights against police abuse. Respecting and safeguarding the rights of citizens is crucial to maintaining a fair and democratic society. Let's continue with an incident involving a citizen's right to film in a post office under the First Amendment. I'm only doing and what I'm told. I understand that, ma'am. And that's just all I was trying to relay that, you know, we do have the right to come into public lobbies and, you know, record and get pictures of... You know, with a value. An auditor arrived at a post office in Gilbertsville, Pennsylvania, filled with excitement to exercise his freedom of speech and press under the First Amendment. He wanted to discuss the post office's policy, Poster 7, and document the activities happening in public spaces. With the expectation that everything would go smoothly, he prepared himself for a positive experience. However, what unfolded was completely different. Unexpected troubles began to arise, complicating the seemingly simple journey and making it more stressful than ever. Branch. I'm just, you know, taking a few pictures of like the public areas and things like that. Do you have like an ID because you're yes. not allowed to just videotape postal service? Um, I believe I am in okay, the, in the okay. okay. 
as we can see, you know, they're not really used to this type of stuff. block you have to do. Hey, how you doing today? I was just taking a few pictures okay. and of like the public areas. It's here. It's a safety thing, please. But this is public, right? Yeah, I know. I need you to go outside of the lobby because this here has all the... Do it right here. I'm not okay. coming in with any bad intentions. I'm not recording, of course, no credit. I was just taking oh, accessible, accessible to the public. Okay. 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 I, I'm not right. going to be long. I just was going. All right. Let me... Uh, yeah, I'll, all right. Just do what you're doing then. Okay. Thank you. Mother's Day things. Mother's Day came so fast it seems like. What shocks me is that you know we all know and although they know that it's public, you know they always make it like it's an issue and some picture or video in these areas which is very shocking to me like I said this Armed with his rights, the auditor requested the postmaster's presence to obtain important information about transparency at the post office, a right protected by the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA. However, immediately the postal employees refused, asserting that filming inside the post office was illegal. The, are you the postmaster? I'm the supervisor. I just spoke to the postmaster and then, yeah. Is the, can, is the postmaster? Okay. Because okay. are you familiar with you, you guys poster seven? Poster 7, it gives me the right. This is a constant, constitutional protected activity yeah, where I can. Nicely, if you could please just, we have to have you go out there. Um, man, with all due respect. Okay, let me. Hello, hi, how are you As you can see, you Good. know, they know about Listen, Poster 7 and, and things. You know, they still tell me that I can't Good. record in the okay. public area insisted that I'm not, you know, recording nobody credit or anything like that. And this is the reason that these are done, because we need transparency. You know, these forms that we have the right to do this. No matter how big or small the branch is, it's no reason. I could have been up, you know, been out of here, but it it's not fair to be respected. It would be great if I I'm not sure. It, I mean, they're not definitely not used to come and exercise their rights, but so far so good. Ask that I, you know, stay in this area. So far, any police or anything called. I asked if I could speak to the postmaster, but. She said, the, I'm 
just coming out to get a little bit more. We'll go back inside. The funny thing to me is, you know, we all understand that people do transactions and things of that nature, but, you know, bad intentions wouldn't come in with a gimbal, you know, where you can outright see them recording. It's too many. And of course, the presence of the police was unavoidable in this situation. However, what was remarkable was that the police stood by the law and showed respect for fairness. With his solid experience and knowledge of the law, the auditor skillfully explained to the postal officials the right to film in public. He emphasized that documenting information in public spaces is not only a right, but also a necessary responsibility for auditors. He firmly stated that before leaving this place, it was crucial to record information to protect citizens' rights and ensure transparency in the operations of public agencies. I would just come in and get, you know, photos of like the public areas and I explained Poster 7 to them and not in here and I was just saying that this is all. They actually gave you a call but, you know, I, I was going to, yeah, like I said, footage of the public accessible areas peacefully. So. Okay. Well, you have what you need? For you. Um, fill out a FOIA while I'm here. A what? A FOIA, What's Freedom that? of Information Act. Then I'm aware of it. Yeah, okay. so, so basically I can, I had the right to fill them out legally. It's law that I can forward them to the FOIA officer. And you actually have five days. Okay, and from the Freedom of Information Well, just thing. information at this post office, you know, um, salaries and things, public information. Yes. Sir. Do you have a form of that nature, ma'am? I do. No, I'm only a clerk. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me. You don't have a form. I am able to, to give it to you verbally, or I can write it out on a blank slip. Ma'am, I'm in a I'm in a public lobby and we're in public and you so guys are public to have workers. Out. That's what I was told. Okay. Um. Again. For security like, purposes. It's for security. Yeah. Yes. For security yes. purposes. You yes. Can't. Yeah. Law. I understand. What By law, I can I can record in the public. Like I said, I'm not standing over anybody's shoulder. Customer came in. I even stepped out yeah, the way. We've been can't because my clerks. You're not. You're not supposed to because that's what the district will not be photographing. Law is law. Okay. Somebody um, has to be unique. They told me to have him unique. I get what you're doing. Yes. Okay. Sir. Um, yes. Sir. Like I said, are you satisfied that you have what you need to do here? For well, the, I, I still would like to. I was so. I also. Can you do that at the the desk that's out here? And I don't then I'll have give any it. for you. You're gonna have to get something for yourself. I can yeah. fill this slip out. That's something yeah. you have to go through our behind the high, through Harrisburg. We can't go okay. here. Yes. By law, I can, ma'am. Uh, yes, go ahead. Yes, sir. Can, can you? There's a there's a desk right outside here. Yes, you step sir. out there, fill out whatever you need, and I'll hand it to her. And then, please have your name and badge number, okay. please. You can have my I'll give you a card. Okay, okay. okay. thank you, you thank you very receipt? much. Yeah. Okay. And um, thank you for for now. I got you. But thank you for your de-escalation. I was okay. just asking that so you know my rights wouldn't be stepped on, sir. I'm a First Amendment auditor, mm -hmm. and I just go around and peacefully document. Yeah, I got you, man. I respectfully explain, you know, to the post office. I know for a fact by law that I can do it, and I feel like the issue is the transparency. I don't want them to think that I'm doing anything nefarious or nothing like that. Even like you know, she's still upset. So I, if I could just fill out the foyer here, you know, and and. and you know, not extra law. I just want to be able to do it peacefully, and you know, going about my way. You know that, but I, I, I would like the trans workers that we are able to do this. Good. We do have a right. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I hear you, but yes. But again, like, while well, you do whatever you need to do, that's perfectly fine. Like, yes. If you want, there's a desk right over here. If you want to fill out whatever you want to fill out, yes. We'll make sure that you, yeah. you know, done your thing, and you know, then, yes. then, you know. Just leave well, it at that. Photos and, and video of the branch because you know it was kind of a. Well, again, are you, I think their issue is yeah. right. Yes. Okay, if you're out there or walking around, like I don't have any issue with that. You do your thing. Like that's yes, that's, that's perfectly cool with me. So yes, sir. Um, and, and that this is also a public area. I know mm -hmm. it's not the biggest branch, but you know I was just like photographing the walls and I just feel like you know my rights are being. 
I'm not. I, Listen, I, man, I got. <laughs> I know. I know you're not. You're, you're not you're doing your thing, man. I think I've seen this you. type of thing before. You thank know, you. like I said, like that's. Thank I get you. where she's coming from about yes. like people entering their credit. Um, yes. You know, like I said, if you're. At what point you tell me that you're satisfied with what yes. you're doing, and then we'll I'll, get you on your way. Here or you know, see, we like we have children coming in. I make sure I won't you know get them on video or nothing like okay. that. Right here, and I you know just wanted her to know that you know I can legally do this. Okay, that that, that was just my whole my whole form for you, and yes. apparently she's saying she doesn't either. So do you have something that you can fill oh, out? Oh yes, that's what I was saying. I can I can fill out a room to them verbally, but I'll just fill it out myself. Okay. Obviously, since they're not you know too, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't really have you know things of that nature. Okay. But like like I said, when she immediately came out, she said, "I don't think you could do this." I'm like, you know, it's public. And that's all I wanted today, ma'am. I'm not I trying to come here like and, I'm only doing and what I'm told. I understand that, ma'am. And that's just all I was trying to relay that, you know, we do have the right to come in and get pictures of, you know, what's available to the public. I wasn't coming in here definitely know, trying to get anybody credit we're cards. Not against their rights, too. They don't want to be video cameraed and we can't have it in there. That's the first thing they said, that yes. you can't be videoing the, the, the federal. Because you guys are public workers, so the law is that I can actually record y'all. Even though I wasn't coming up over the chin in your face, I was just, you know, actually recording the walls. But if I do get you guys on camera, you know, it's not against, it's not against the law. So I, I would like, you know, a blank sheet of paper and I will, and I will turn it into you guys and the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, not only provides the public with insight into government operations, but also encourages transparency and accountability in governance. Utilizing FOIA helps individuals become more aware of their rights, thus fostering active participation in community issues and safeguarding democratic values. Ultimately, the auditor's persistence and legal knowledge enabled him to firmly protect his rights. This serves as a vivid reminder that each of us must equip ourselves with knowledge about our rights to avoid being overrun or threatened. Your rights exist not only on paper, but also in action. If you find value in this video, please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Let's spread the power of understanding and protect citizen rights together.